Uh, have you personally used a uh, 3D printer? If so, how? Um, we have a 3D printer uh, here at school at Goodman, and uh, we've had it uh, since last year, so we've had opportunities to print some, some smaller objects. Uh, last year we had some uh, students that uh, were attempting to print uh, the components for a robotic arm, um, and uh, so we've, we've done some, some printing here at school. I haven't done anything other than the just you know, personal ex you know, experimenting to uh, become familiar with the technology, but uh, we've been using it. All right, so our third question is, do you think schools will eventually use 3D printers? Um, I think that uh, the 3D printers are finding their way into schools uh, on a little bit more consistent basis uh, currently. 3D printing has actually been around for quite some time. In the early 2000s, they were doing a lot of experimenting with 3D printing. But one of the difficulties has been that uh, uh, with new technology, it's usually quite expensive. And so as time goes on, it's like most any other technology, the costs start to come down. And so eventually, it gets uh, cost effective to go ahead and put it into to, uh, an educational setting. Uh, so I think you're seeing the, the 3D printers, um, they're a little bit more prevalent uh, in public schools uh, as time goes on. I mean, typically you would probably see 3D printing in a, in a high school first, but uh, in, in our school district we've had uh, 3D printing in, in the, not only the high schools but also the middle schools at about the same time. So it's been, it's been uh, coming down in cost and I think that's one of the big factors that determines whether it's, you know, it's a viable uh, resource for middle schools or, or schools in general. Okay, our fourth question is, what do you think 3D printing will become in the future? Well, it's, it's really kind of hard to say. I, I mentioned earlier that uh, uh, the initial 3D printing was, was uh, primarily done with plastics. And so, uh, as the technology improves, they've discovered how to do printing on a larger scale and, and more complex um, metals in particular. I know Boeing has uh, looked at uh, printing uh, components that they would normally receive as a large casting and then machine away a big uh, amount of material. And with 3D printing, what they can do is they can, they can print these objects and have them be a more manageable size so there's less waste and a lot less time involved as far as uh, you know, creating a component. So as the technology increases or improves, uh, you're going to find more and more things that are, are uh, capable of being 3D printed. The medical field has been using 3D printing now for a while. They've been uh, doing things like printing stents and uh, so forth which are used to keep arteries open for people who have congestive um, or congested arteries. Uh, so it's, you know, there's a, a lot of different potential, and I think that as the, the technology improves, uh, there's going to be more and more discoveries as to what actually can be printed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you think that 3D printing could revolutionize the world? Mm, that's kind of a tough question. Uh, I don't know that it will necessarily revolutionize things, but there, uh, uh, there are a lot of advantages to being able to print in 3D. Um, I think that uh, particularly some of the things that, that are really advantageous to print in 3D are, are prototypes. Um, because there are a lot of things that uh, are very, very expensive to, uh, to try to uh, create a, a prototype, um, a lot of machining and, is involved and, and uh, uh, a lot of setups for creating things are uh, necessary. With 3D printing, uh, you don't need a lot of those things. You can come up with a, make, you know, create a model in essence and then see if everything is, was, you know, the sizes are correct and see if it's exactly what you want without having a, a big bunch of expense in, in a lot of machining. And uh, do you have any experience with 3D printing? Um, 
the experience that I've had here uh, or is primarily here. Uh, we did a little bit of 3D printing a number of years ago, in the early 2000s, when uh, uh, I was in Oregon. But uh, for the most part, the 3D printing that uh, we do here is the experience that I've had with it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, can you use pictures you drew and make them into a 3D object? Um, if you are drawing in, a, in uh, three dimensions, or if you're doing 3D modeling, like in programs like SketchUp or, or AutoCAD or uh, other programs that uh, uh, you actually create the, the uh, drawing in 3D, then you can print that. So you can like draw it in and it come out 3D? You can draw it and then you have to convert it into a file that the 3D printer can recognize. And, and then, then it, it comes out 3D. It'll, it'll print whatever it was that you drew based on, uh, on uh, your initial drawing. Could you also use an image? Um, you have to be able to, if, you, if you're talking about just a two-dimensional image, it, it has yeah. to be in a 3D format. So you would have to be able to convert that somehow. So, like, you Either have give to it convert some, it into 3D? You have to give it some, be able to give it some depth, too, because you, your 3D printer's working on, uh, you know, typically what you're doing when you're drawing is, is dealing with the two-dimensional plane. But in a 3D uh, printing situation, a 3D modeling, what you're actually doing is working with three axes. So your, your axes are, are uh, X, Y, and Z. So you've got uh, height and width and depth. And that's, those are the things that the printer has to have uh, in order to, to recognize what it is that you want to print and then actually print it. Okay. Okay. What, what are the pros and cons about 3D printing in your opinion? Um, I'd say that the, the pros are that uh, you can uh, generate a, a model, a 3D model of something without having a big bunch of expense involved in it. So you can use it to measure uh, and, uh, and see if a, a prototype, you measure it and see if it's the size you want and see if it's going to work as a, as a part before you spend a bunch of money to uh, set up a, a big machining operation. That's a, a pro. Um, there's a, uh, the medical field has been using 3D printing for uh, producing things uh, fairly quickly and easily. Um, some of the cons are that it's somewhat slow. Uh, it's not a real fast process, and there's, they're still discovering how to print with metal. Uh, so as soon as they can get some of these things uh, taken care of, some of those uh, technologies improved, then I think that will improve uh, capabilities of 3D printing. Okay, and also, what are your thoughts about 3D printing being used in the military? Uh, I think that uh, it's just like any other technology that the military is going to probably uh, find some uses for it that are going to be potentially beneficial. Um, it's, it's really hard to say what kind of a, a uses they'll come up with as far as 3D printing. I think as the technology improves, they'll, they would be able to uh, utilize it on a probably a little bit more grand scale. But uh, initially, I think they're probably going to be looking at it uh, similar to uh, what uh, industry, business and industry is doing, which is to use it a lot for prototypical um, 3D printing. Okay, thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.